Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. On this Saturday's The Core Series, we're exploring Sabra. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but Matt's going to make me drink it, so here we go. Mm, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Does this one have a pretty bottle? I bet this one has a pretty bottle. Matt, I'm, so Matt, I'm ready for story time. Can you tell a story time? Pretty bottle? I can. I'm so excited about this bottle. Look how badass this bottle is. It looks like a fucking genie lantern bottle. I was going to say, it looks like a genie bottle. It's the Sabra. It's a chocolate orange liqueur. It is a really cool bottle. They actually uh, made this in the form of a 2,000-year-old uh, Phoenician wine flask they found in the Tel Aviv Museum. That's what the bottle's is uh started that's what they made it to look like the cool thing is my grandparents actually had one of these at their house they went to visit israel in the early 90s and they had one of these in there in fact they still have it so we'll send them out to go over there and compare this to it but this is a this was from like i don't know three or four years ago but uh so what it is it's 30 percent. it's bitter it's a bitter chocolate liqueur that's mixed with a jaffa oranges of course it's from israel and they said if you bring, if you chill it, you get more chocolate. If you warm it, you get more orange. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Mm. Um, it was started in 1963 by Edgar Brofman, senior was the head of Seagram's at the time, to be a identifiably Israeli liqueur. Its name is a term used to affectionately call the Jew that was born in Israel. So it's a native-born Israeli Jew, and it's named from Hebrew. And originally this was made at a, the prickly pear cactus. They tried it. Apparently, it did not work out well. It's not a good liqueur. So they switched over to this chocolate orange version instead. It's like, well, at least they admitted it sucked. So the good news is this one doesn't. They also make a couple other ones as well at this point in time. All these are kosher. Not only they are also kosher for Passover. And the newer ones are the coffee one, which was launched in 1985. And then there's an orange friendly, uh, orange flavored brandy one in 2006. And so these are, and then as of 2015, they no longer made at the Golan wineries, but they're still made at the Carmel wineries. So cool wineries over in Israel. Get a chance to visit those wineries. They're both really good wines. Um, but anyway, so let's see what we think of this really freaking cool bottle of liqueur. I really like this bottle. Ooh. I have problems. Oh, it yeah. is orange chocolate. It really is. It's it so exactly like orange chocolate, those candies you smash. It's exactly what it smells yeah. like. Yes. And in that so order, I got the orange today. first and then the chocolate. Yeah. yeah. And it's more like a navel orange or like a cutie. Yeah, and I'm not sure what Jaffa oranges are. I don't I never had one, so I can't no. tell what those taste like. And maybe that's what those taste like. I don't I've I've never had one. So it someone from Israel, if you could tell us, like it'd be great. Sweet orange, but it smells like a, almost like a really dark, bitter it, it chocolate. It smells like a baking chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. It's, it's not, super it's not sweet. Milk chocolate. It's really dense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice and thick. Man, now it's just chocolate. Yeah. yeah. That's about all I get out of it. I was like, it's all I get. It's orange chocolate. I got nothing else. And and the orange is gone for me. I can't I can't even find that in the nose anymore. Oh wow. I don't know if you can tell. I don't really want to taste this. You said it. Yeah, I forget that. You said something about it being bitter. Mm. It's not on the palate. Mm -mm. It's it's yeah it's it's much sweeter. He says, "Darn it!" Yeah. Uh -oh. oh come on. Yeah, there's a, there it is. I didn't it's think like a liquefied like Reese's it. peanut butter cup, except it doesn't have peanut butter in it. It's still yeah, it's and it's still. orange. And it's orange, not it's, peanut butter. It's the same thing. It's the orange smash cake. It tastes exactly like it smells. Like oh. it is definitively. This is dangerous because it's super sweet. And if you liked orange chocolate, you're going to be in heaven. You put this yeah. thing over ice, oh my god! Oh yeah, like just drink amazing. it over ice. Yeah, this stuff is like a good after dinner drink. This is delicious. <laughs> I really like it. Dessert in a glass. That, that is dessert in a glass. It's totally dessert in a glass. Like I have this at a restaurant, with like a nice piece of cake or something. This would be amazing. Oh, that's that'd probably be way too much sweetness for me. Oh, be good. You also probably good like Greek food. I think would be good. Some of that good Mediterranean food. I think would be tasty with that too. That'd be good to, to sweeten my coffee. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Plus, you get a pretty bottle. Sweeten sweeten your coffee, huh? Yeah. Okay. Sweeten some tea. That's too much for my palate. I can't. I, I need way more bitter than that. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, right? I didn't figure you were going to be a fan. <laughs> nope. That's not the point I of the like series, it. isn't it? I like it. I'm glad you like it. 
yeah all right don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell and join us live monday nights until next time keep on crocheting for the liquids in your glass cheers, cheers. I didn't say a time. <laughs>